The virtuoso French pianist Jean-François Ziegel has once again found a way to bring classical music back to the front scene. In this edition of his Concert of the Improbable, he combines music, visual arts and improvisation in order to present Czech composer Antonin Dvorak. Despite his extensive musical culture, Jean-François Ziegel draws inspiration in other artistic fields. I'm trying to make a revolution in classical music from within by combining repertoire and improvisation, jazz, traditional and world music, contemporary and classical music, visual arts and sound effects. I propose entire evenings instead of concerts and bear always in mind that repertoire has to speak to us today. In its present form, with its comfortable theatres with average age of 60, classical music is going to die. There will be less subsidies and the audience will decrease. The responsibility is now on the musicians. Are they capable of making classical music lively and modern? Or is classical music ready for the museum? Ziegel's original projects attract young collaborators who try to show that classical music is accessible and fun. We started working with Jean-François Ziegel because we have similar approach to concert. He tries to reinvent the modern classical concert by creating original soirees about a famous composer, and that is what we're also trying to do by putting together literature, arts, staging, and not only presenting a well-known ritual of classical concerts. And for those who frequently go to the concerts, Jean-François Ziegel proves that classical music can compete with other forms of entertainment. To tell you the truth, I liked it a lot tonight. It's really something. Besides, he's so funny. It was fun. Many of those we spoke to say they come to listen to Jean-François Ziegel because he brings freshness to the classical masterpieces. Miloš Krivokapić, Gen 1, Paris.